What we're looking at here is the underside of the carbs with the float bowls off of a 1982 KZ750 Limited. And these are where the jets come out. Next to it is a plug where you'll get one of the jets from. And this is what it used to look like. This is also the last remaining plug intact. And what all of the other ones did when I pulled them out, as they're made of a grade of plastic, is they did this. This top hat here broke off. Coming out. So, ah. Uh, it became an issue of needing to replace all four of them really because I didn't want to leave this in there uh, knowing what would happen. So, you have a choice. You can order four of these rubber plugs that are intended for this. Uh, actually, the rubber plugs are not available for this. I was reading that a KZ-1000 is where you can get four rubber stoppers to go in here. Well, I'm not that person and if I can make something that works or try to make something that works I will and uh, in short this is my new plug it consists of stainless steel wire as a handle to be able to pull the plug back out a pop rivet that measured exactly where the o-ring goes over the old plug so once you slip it over this, it sits down in that measurement with a caliper, handy dandy caliper, to double check your work instead of just guessing. You don't want this to leak because of something that you eyeballed. And it so happens that placing it right over that was within one thousandth of an inch. It was pretty impressive close parameter for being uh, two different things. So, why did I choose to do this? I beat mail time and uh, $10 expense because I ended up having the stuff on hand minus the O-rings and uh, I found that I found a source for O-rings. A lot of this stuff came from Harbor Freight. I am not a Harbor Freight nut. Item 67609. Unless it's something that you have to use your discretion when you're there. Not everything, it's not an all-encompassing, wow, what an amazing price. Um, moving on, uh, this, most importantly, um, it resists petroleum products, so I went for it. P uh, fuel is a petroleum product. Picking the right O-ring and assembling all these, the filler you ask. Inside the pop rivet where I placed the stainless steel wire, you don't have to make this curl in there. It was a style thing. I thought, wow, you know, it's a handle for me to pull it out. A straight wire coming off looking something like that will be fine too. Something for you to grab a hold of, uh, you know, when you take your carbs apart the next time. JB Weld goes down here uh, I read on their FAQ that it once cured it is um, uh, fuel resistant and it's going to be what I chose to seal that off. So in effect all assembled makes my new plug and all I have to do is repeat that four times. So there's just a couple more steps having already made this to show you of what um, how I chose all the dimensions because it, it turns out it's a little bit longer the rivet but that that's an easy fix because it's aluminum and, a, and stainless or I'm sorry not stainless but this is a steel wire but this is aluminum so I've got two things that ward off corrosion aluminum stainless steel and the resistant the o-ring there okay so um, last thing to point out I was not satisfied with putting the o-ring next to that's alright I just lost that but I'm gonna show you a really cool way to make it, an unlimited supply of those that was a stainless steel wire for a washer 
I was not satisfied with the o-ring being right next to that. It, when you go to push it in, it does not seat far enough down, in my opinion. So there is much happier, and the only way to keep that there was to what I did is I wrapped stainless steel wire around, I clamped a rivet and stainless steel wire in the vise, and I wrapped it around several times to make this. This is how you make a properly fitting wire washer. So all I did, either with some side cutters like this, straight cutters like this, eventually you're going to figure out right at the point that the wraparound meets um, once it goes around one full revolution you clip that off like so let it hopefully it doesn't go anywhere this did not and you have a new ring off of the spring you made by wrapping it around the rivet that's where I got that and it's stainless steel very helpful in uh, not corroding the entire insides of your carburetor um, let's see last point before I turn you loose and you're just freaking out making all the uh, carburetor plugs uh, necessary for your machines at home and not waiting for them to show up in the mail at a ten dollar expense plus shipping is I put this in a vise let me back this off a little bit and show you my clever vise you have to open your vise enough to be able to set the rivet down in there the wire this, the this, I know you can just barely see that, so just imagine it. If you tap that, that comes right out, revealing your part that you'll need to, um, the little top hat, or mushroom, whatever, yeah, mushroom, whatever you want to call that, that's what it is. But, I do not cut that off. hollow. I, you have to place this back in after you tap that out and you can measure if you had a plug that survived you measure the depth on that. To me eyeballing it in this case was good enough you know to be five or ten thousandths off this is not where it's incredibly important to have that but it can't be too short or too long it's got a purpose. So I'm gonna clip off about an eighth of an inch with the wire in place and um, watch your eyes. I mean, I work over here all the time making something or fixing something. I put safety glasses on even if I'm not doing anything because you're just going to get pecked right in the eye. That will have clipped off enough and whoop, there it goes. Leaving it hollow to be able to put your wire in and the JB weld. So those together show that I've I've clipped it off enough, but you know what? It's ragged. I doubt there's cutters that will ever not leave that rough. Well, guess what? It's aluminum, and it's your lucky day. I'm not going to file this right over my carbs because I don't want those kind of comments pointing out just how incredibly bad form that was. But literally, if you just hold this with your hands and run this along the file, You'll square it off, make a top hat out of it, cut your stainless steel wire to fit, JB weld inside, let it cure, put your stainless steel washer in, and a little bit of petroleum jelly works really nice on that o-ring before you go jamming it down inside there, and uh, you'll likely be able to pull it back out without it ripping to shreds, but if it does, just use another o-ring. Um, that concludes all the magic in this stainless steel wire, rivet, JB weld, and uh, no weight, no $10 for four rubber plugs.